They are not my hands. This fact is forgotten by my brothers. Inexplicably, it has always seemed to me. The hands are strong, to be sure, and have created great kings for us all. But they are not mine. And that counts for something. They forget that the silver on my arms comes from a beast that I vanquished. It is the mark of a great evil that I ended, and yet it persists with me. I would struggle to remove it now. I would not remove the silver from my flesh, because I have learned to depend on it. The fault is with my mind. I rely on the augmentation given to me by the metal gauntlets. So much so, that the flesh beneath them is now little more than a distant memory. A day will come when I will strip it from me, lest I lose the power to master myself forever. Already, my legion's warriors replace their shield hands with metal in my honor. And so they too are learning to doubt the, the natural strength of their bodies. They must be weaned of this practice before it becomes a mania for them. Hatred of what is natural, of what is human, is the first and greatest of all corruptions. So I record this here. When the time comes, I will strip my hands of their unnatural silver. I will instruct my legions to resent their disgust of the flesh. I will turn them away from the gifts of the machine and bid them we learn the mysteries of flesh, bone, and blood. When my father's crusade is over, this shall be my secret task. And the fighting is done. I shall cure my legion and myself, for a fighting is all there is if we may never pause to reflect on what such devotion to strength is doing to us. Then our compulsions will only grow. Already I see the madness that path leads to. And so I shall excise the silver from my hands. In doing so, I shall weaken myself and my sons, but nonetheless it must be done. The hands are strong and have created great things, but they are not mine.